COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way many businesses are conducting interviews. But today, those looking for a new job on the Eastern Shore were able to meet one on one in person with prospective employers at the Baldwin County Job Fair. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown takes us there. Despite the wet weather Tuesday, job seekers flooded the Daphne Civic Center on a mission to find their next job. You know, hopefully, like I said, things will pick back up and then uh, and the pandemic will slow down so well, uh, you know, people will find their, you know, occupation again and get back to their line of work. That's the hope for Tony Blankenship, who was laid off from his construction job two weeks ago. Now he's looking for work and meeting with prospective employers. It's a great program, you know, to try to help people get back into their line of field of work. Hand sanitizing stations and signs to social distance greeted each person who walked through these doors, but some say that isn't making the search any easier. As you can see with the face masks and the no touching rules, it's a little less, it's a, it's a little harder to get personal. So, you know, um, a way to remember, you know, a way, a way somebody remembers you is your face. So you can only see half of it. Those reasons are why it's important to learn how to stand out in the pandemic. Josh Duplantis is the Workforce Development Dean for Coastal Alabama Community College, and he's teaching that skill during a workshop at today's job fair. I think there's only so much you can learn about a potential em employee or employer via Zoom or Skype or these things. It's one of the first in-person job events to happen in Baldwin County since this time last year. We're in need of healthcare professionals right now, especially during this pandemic. Organizers say despite the pandemic, Baldwin County's unemployment rate has remained surprisingly low. In Daphne, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.